So, Anaria finally came out and said that their release is imminent. 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 Imminent about to happen. Marvel will make exactly one year since I posted my original trailer video. Now in their announcement they say we're currently carrying out intensive testing phases in order to prepare everything for launch. That they're planning for the month of July and they do not give an exact date obviously they don't want to get the hopes up and then miss the date. And I know most of you guys haven't seen much of the game itself besides this trailer that is in the background right now. But I will tell you between leaks and some other sources that I do have they have showed me quite a bit of gameplay play and I think it looks really good. The gunplay looks really smooth, the movement looks good, the looting is really nice as well, and it's very interesting to see what they've done with the looting system in this game. But obviously I can't tell you guys too much or I would just show you. They went on to say we are aware that some will be disappointed with another postponement, however as a small dev team we are particularly affected by the health crisis and various other unforeseen events. And I know I use Islands of Nine as a reference a lot, but they had a lot of devs and it took them like four years or some shit just to go into an alpha to test the game, not even to come out. So you really gotta give the people some slack when they're working on this game. So a lot of people ask me, what does the game feel like? What does it look like? What does it play like? What does it give you the vibes of? And obviously, it's not no secret, it's H1Z1. But more importantly, early Z1. It is a lot like like early Z1 as much as it looks like it it has a lot of the uh, same movement not to mention the gunplay the buildings it just it all looks almost exactly like Z1 now I will be the first to say that they do not want this to be a literal copy and paste of H1Z1 they don't want it to be like known as the game that is just H1Z1 remade although I have seen some of the H1Z1 devs replying to them on Twitter which is kind of odd also, just in case you do not follow my Twitter for whatever reason, link in the description by the way, you can check out these that I posted on Twitter a few weeks ago. This came from the uh, Discord that they have. I know skins obviously aren't really a major thing that a game should start out with, but obviously we're in the year 2020 and most people do care about skins and most people do make a lot of money off of skins, so skins do help out a game a lot in a lot of ways. And I'll be the first to say these skins look sick. And how about that AR model though? Now I feel like I speak for a large crowd of people when I say there is not really a game out there nowadays that compares to the old school H1Z1 feeling. Obviously we have a lot of battle royales, but there's not really a game that just feels like old H1 does. There's just nothing that compares to it in the market nowadays. And I do feel like there's still a large crowd of people that would like to have a game like this. I feel like there's still a huge population that are looking for a game like this. Obviously H1 has ran its course and it's uh, not ever coming back, but we could have a game that does give that old feeling back to us. And the biggest thing that I want for Anaria to do is have stable servers and good FPS and a listen to community. Now obviously the community of H1 there is a lot of toxic people. A lot of people who say some really dumb things and I feel like that did drag H1 down ultimately because we never knew what we wanted everyone would say they wanted one thing it would get changed and then they would say no we don't want that change it back and eventually among all the confusion it kind of tore the community two or three different ways tore the devs a lot of different ways and it ultimately ended up ruining the game and that's where there's a fine line between listening to your community and knowing what is good for your game like I've told a lot of the devs I know a lot of them watch me and have listened to me and have messaged me and things and I will try try my best to help them as much as I possibly can. A lot of people have said that I am like trying to kiss up to the devs or trying to, you know, farm clout with them, whatever it may be. And obviously my YouTube has done pretty well with this game. But at the end of the day, I'm a Battle Royale player just like most of you that are watching this and I want a good game. So yes, I am helping out the devs and I am trying to help them with their game, but once it releases, one of the main names that you'll probably be seeing in 90% of the kill feeds during your game will be my name. So I will be playing a lot now. Will it be a death? And you know, that probably is a possibility, but regardless, I'm hoping the best for them. I did talk to the main dev and he did say that I might be able to test it later on in the testing phases. So hopefully if I do get to do that, I can tell you guys how much you know I enjoyed it how it felt everything like that I haven't played it yet I do know a few of the testers I do uh, I have been told who is testing it I don't think I can tell that either but I uh, am hoping I'll get to test it myself if I do I'll make sure to let you guys know how it plays and everything but hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to leave a like go sub if you're new I would really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys in the next one peace